All right, it's Tuesday. Let's go. Missed yesterday. Uh, just blew it. Just totally didn't get it done. So that's on me. But I'm excited for today. You know, I, I, I think I've done a video on this before, but it's important, I think, to repeat uh, valuable concepts. Actually, I believe, I think I've said this before, but I believe the 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 meaning or one of the meanings of Kung Fu is mastery through repetition. So we, 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 we really gain knowledge and insight through the reps that we do over time, just continually doing the same movement until we reach excellence and or mastery. So... <clears throat> said that to say this don't let preparation or the time of preparation frustrate you um yesterday so the first week of march gangbusters i gener i generated like three grand in revenue which is awesome and i'm hoping that i can continue to do that because if i generate about three grand in revenue probably the average that I'm getting is about 25 to 30 percent of that's mine. So, so if, if I bring in three thousand dollars, 25 to 30 percent of that is probably cost. Whether that's me paying a guy to help me or buying material, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if that's the case, on a three grand revenue week, what that means is that I'm bringing home right around two thousand dollars a week. That's really good. That's a great, great living for sure. Now that's before taxes, of course, before write-offs, but still. Um, 25 to 30%, that's basically the ratio that I'm seeing, at least in my business, and maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But um, 25 to 30% of the revenue that comes in uh, in total, 25% to 30% isn't mine. It goes to cost, it goes to paying people to help me. But the first week was crazy. This week, the second week of March, nothing. Uh, no real work to speak of for right here, right now. However, I am setting work up. I have people that have said yes to me and want to give me money, but we got to, you know, call 811 or 118 or whatever that number is, 113 that shows you where the electrical lines are, the water lines and the gas line, all that stuff. So <clears throat> I have money coming in or rather that will come in, you know, things could change, of course, but it's nothing right now. And, you know, I, I jokingly made a text, or not made a text, that's stupid, sent a text to my friends, you know, talking about how, you know, there, well, there's different types of work. There's networking, there's prepping to work, and then there's overall uh, waiting to work. <laughs> but the truth is, there are times if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to be an entrepreneur and you're going to own your own business, there will be times where you won't do anything that is quote unquote work in the day. And what you need to do in that moment is what one of my mentors told me, which is try to do something for the business every single day, even if it is just five minutes. Just try to do something for the business every single day. And that is work. Now, it may not be work that generates cash or revenue for you, but it is work and it is work that will build to you bringing money in that allows you to hit that daily average that you wanted to hit, that you want to hit whether that's $250 like me that's what that's the minimum minimum excuse me i want to make daily or um, you know if you're someone who wants to make $500 a day or whatever the case may be you know you you got to decide that for yourself but um, just cuz you're not working and and bringing in money that day doesn't mean you aren't working as long as you're staying productive and as long as you're doing something for the business. So work on the business every single day. One of my mentors told me that he was a kid from white trash, rural America, sold drugs for a while, uh, did a lot of illegal shit, got his life together, started a very successful cleaning business, and he's crushing it. You know, he's a he's a good father. Um, you know, he turned his life around. He did a great job. He's you know. I've said this before too in my meeting or in my video because I, I have another mentor of mine that is an older guy who came from the same situation. White trash, rural area, was a drug dealer, had some problems with the law, turned his life around, started a business, great man, great husband, great father. Those street guys and gals that have turned their life around where they're not doing anything illegal, they're not doing scurly shit, but they're they're focusing their energies on lawful ways to earn money, but they still have that same grit, that same energy that, that comes with just being in the streets and hustling. 
Those people are the people you want as your mentors. They have a lot to offer you. Trust me, they do. Don't let the uh, don't let their history keep you from the knowledge that they have within them. Those people are valuable. They can teach you a great deal. They've taught me many wonderful lessons. So that, that's just a real quick interjection. But again, don't worry about if you're not working in the specific day. This is the second day I'm finishing up work from last week. Uh, but this is the second day this week so far that I, I haven't brought in any money. I, I'm, I haven't even done any work, but I'm doing prep work. I'm doing... And I'm doing um, uh, estimates. I'm acquiring new clients, clients that uh, had an original handyman. He's not satisfactory or causing problems, so they want someone new. This is all work. It's all part of a business owner mentality where whether you earn money one day or one week and then the next week you make more money than you ever have is irrelevant. It's always focusing and working so that your average is always where you want it to be or within the bounds of where you want it to be. And the only way you can do that is is by doing what one of my mentors said, which is work on the business every single day. Try to spend some time on the business every day. I'm sorry, every single day. Preparation is not wasted time. It isn't. It feels that way, especially if you're moving in a shaker and you're going out, you're getting cash. Preparation, getting stuff going, it can feel like wasted time. But trust me, guys, it's not. Preparation is valuable. It's important. It's very, very good. It allows for the work to go smoother and it, it's the mental work of um, business that's really much more difficult than the physical work. So wanted to get that video out. Apologize I didn't get one out yesterday. Make it up for today, Tuesday. Preparation is not a waste of time, number one. Focus on the business every day for at least five minutes. And don't worry about if you're not working and bringing in cash in a specific day or days. Do something. Work in some way, shape, or form because you're still gaining ground. You're still moving forward. If you've liked the content, like, share, subscribe. If you've hated it, send it to someone you hate.